Hey everyone, Mark from Coast of Country. Today's video, we're going to sand a bit of this boat and paint it uh, all the sections where you can see with just some basic grey paint um, to go over the existing paint that the previous owner had put on this. And um, we'll have a look and see how we get on. Hi, Nipple Dog. What you doing? What are you up to, mate? Time to have a look, have you? Alright, so we'll get into it. And um, yeah, if you like these videos, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe. That helps us out. So. Alright, let's get into it. So we're not going to get too excited over this job. Um, what we're going to do is got some really fine sandpaper on a block and just the bits that we're going to see, we're just going to give that a gentle sand just to take off a little bit of that um, rubbishy paint and just roughens it up a bit for the paint to stick. And we're only going to really paint it with this sat granite, which is basically just a, um, it's not a bad quality spray paint, but it's pretty basic. Like we're not getting a spray gun out for this. We're just going to go over the sections that you can see and then there'll be a carpeted floor over the bits we can't so it'll just tidy it up a bit the existing paint they've used um, i'll give you a quick look is this kind of stuff here apparently they painted to stop a bit of the glare when it was new obviously it was probably very shiny but it's a really poor quality paint so i'll rub preps all over this i'll sand it gently sand it rub preps all over it which is basically a thinner it's like a cleaner it takes all oil and grease off and then we'll um, hit this with a bit of paint. I did a tiny bit down the bottom here just without even cleaning it. And that's the colour that it'll end up being. Um, but we'll do it a little bit better than that. But um, yeah, it'll just tidy it up a bit and um, hopefully stop a little bit of corrosion and that as well. Okay, so it's had a light sand, now we're just wiping everything down that we're going to paint with Prepsol or R121, which is just a um, wax and grease remover. Helps the paint stick to it. I'll get in there later, just got to wear a respirator because the boat can fill up with fumes, so you want to be careful with that. Same when I'm painting, I'll take it outside, wear a respirator, get some good air going. So I'm just going around taping up what I don't want to paint now. I kind of really wish they hadn't have painted this at all. It just creates a lot of extra work. But anyway. So this is just painter's tape. It comes off really easily once you finish painting. I think there's different grades of this you can get, different colours for how long you want it to stay on there for. So I've got to paint the gunnels uh, just on the tops. I would have probably avoided that, but they've already half painted it, so I'll keep going for what, what they've done. Just do all this top section. We'll just keep working around doing that. So I've taped up the basics of what we don't want painted and the rest I'll blend out, as in I'll paint the sides and I'll blend it out over to the floor and then the carpeted floor is going over that so it won't matter too much in there and there's a few bits we'll paint and then the rest will be just covered with flooring so that's all ready to go. I'll drag it outside and get a bit of air happening, a bit of ventilation I should say and uh, I'll wear a respirator and we'll put a base coat on it. I'll use my spray painting regulator as well. This is my Sunstrom uh, proper face um, spray painting respirator. So we'll use that while we're painting as well and get some good ventilation. So if you're interested in what we're painting the boat with, um, I, this isn't a how to paint a boat video either. This is just what I'm doing mucking around in my spare time. Um, but I've reused this um, Rust-Oleum stuff quite a bit, especially mild steel um, projects and things. If you get all the scale off, hit it with this stuff straight onto it. You don't need primer or anything. Uh, it says the paint primer, definitely not sponsored by this. Um, but either stuff's quite good, like it'll stick to mild steel. I've had stuff outside in the weather for, you know, five years and it looks as good as the day we painted it. Um, had no worries normally. Goes on to quite a few things, plastics, etc. Does bite into aluminium okay if you sand it. Um, bought six of these, five of these, something like that. This one though, for some reason, um, I've just written on there, bad, shake it. Could not for the life of me get this one to spray properly. Um, it was spitting out what dry as powder so it's usually a sign that it's not shaken enough shock it up 
No good. Um, then when I finally got it to go, it was coming out like clear varnish, and then the little bit of colour had come out with it, and then, anyway, it's sounding okay, but I'll give it a really good shake. I probably should just take it back, but it's too late now, and who's got the time, so. Anyway, but other than that, um, yeah, it's not bad paint normally, but yeah, just got one dud today, but um, anyway, not the end of the world. I wasn't going to bother, but I thought I'd do this, um, just this top section as well, and that rail there. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit ordinary, but we'll just do, a, do that while we're at it. Might protect it a little bit. Give it a very light sand. So the paint can etch into the aluminium. Then we'll degrease it and give it an undercoat and then a paint. I had to come inside to paint because it's obviously starting to bucket down in the rain. I'm going to leave this alone and I'll leave that unpainted as well because it'll have chains dragging it. Wow, that rain's heavy. Oh, right. Yeah. So I ended up giving the front of this a quick paint. More to the fact that if I am going guardian, when you're shining a spotlight up front, it won't be quite as glary if it's painted. It's always quite satisfying taking tape paint off, I reckon, tape off. So it's not the best quality paint job. I'm not, I wasn't going to get a two-pack out and go crazy spraying. But it's still up to German specs. Good enough. This anchor well is going to take a beating, so I couldn't be bothered painting that. Yeah. 
and there's no point painting a anchor post either because it don't last very long either Alrighty. bit marbly at the front here. I had one can of paint. Um, it's not the best way of painting a boat, I know, but I had five cans of um, paint. One of them I shook forever and I could not get it to flow properly. I think it's a little bit of improvement on what was there, especially once the floor goes in. That should look all right. And yeah, I mean, it's no show pony boat, but um, it's a fishing boat and it'll get, um, oh, I mean, I'll look after it, but it'll get knocked around a bit. Good for yabbing too, this one. Bashing around some dams. Okay, that's pretty much it. We'll let that set for a day or so. I've got a bit of other work I've got to get on with. So um, we'll get back to this later. So short video this time, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, um, hit the subscribe if you haven't already. That would help us out. And I'll see you in the next one.